we bring in former federal prosecutor and Fox News contributor Andy McCarthy. Andy, um, a lot of questions for you, so I'm going to I'm going to fire right away here. So, Mark Elias, it just as David Spunt just so um, clearly reported, he said he hired Fusion GPS. As we know, they hired Christopher Steele, and that's where the dossier was created. But he says he didn't want people to know that he had hired them. Um, and he basically said, according to the paraphrase that we just heard from David Spunt, you know, when you're in my line of work, you know, and you're working for Hillary Clinton, essentially, uh, you don't want to share who you have hired to do oppo research. You want to basically give them plausible deniability. What do you think about all this? Well, I think what's happening, Martha, is basically they got caught concocting a narrative, a political narrative they thought would be dangerous or would be damaging to uh, Donald Trump during the campaign, that he was in cahoots with Russia. So now they're sort of covering their tracks and explaining that, you know, the secrecy is not anything to, that, that we should see as sinister. It's just the sort of thing that you would do if you represented the kind of people I represented. And that's the, the pitch he's giving. Uh, in court is that it was basically Trump's fault that he even had to do this because uh, Trump is so litigious and brings so many uh, libel actions that he had to evaluate his litigation risk. So he needed Fusion GPS so he could figure out, you know, how much uh, how much can we say and stay on the safe side of the libel line. So there's a lot of backtracking going on. And, you know, it's it's a little complicated because it's a big framework for what's a very sort of narrow, simple crime, yeah. which is, did this guy, Sussman, lie to the FBI when he claimed he wasn't representing anyone, including, obviously, the Clinton campaign, when he brought them this information? Yeah, I, that's a great point, because what we're... What we're hearing around all of this is obviously fascinating because Mark Elias is on the stand. He's talking about what they were all doing and what they thought was a problem and how they approached it uh, as part of this campaign. Um, but here's the actual text that Sussman wrote to Jim Baker, who, you know, seemed to they seem to be on, uh, you know, pretty friendly terms or open communication right. terms. Right. Um, and, and Baker's the top attorney at the FBI. He says, Jim, it's Michael Sussman. I have something time sensitive and sensitive in parentheses. I need to discuss. Do you have avail availability for a short meeting tomorrow? I'm coming on my own, not on behalf of a client or company. Want to help the bureau? Thanks. Right. So, Andy, you know, the, the suggestion here is that he's going to say, well, everyone knew, you know, that I worked for the Clinton administration. But in this case, I was just very unsettled by these things that I was learning. And I just wanted to make sure that the FBI knew about it. Is that how's that going to go over in this D.C. courtroom with a D.C. jury? Well, I don't. I well, you know. Look, the D.C. jury, Martha, I think is the biggest problem that that Durham has because they're going to be sort of presumptively uh, Trump hostile. But that having been said, you know, he went into the FBI billing the Clinton campaign after spending a lot of time consulting with the Clinton campaign, which he was also representing, um, about the package of information that was being brought to the FBI. And what he did to get in the door was capitalize on the fact that he's a former Justice Department official who had a prior relationship with Jim Baker, then the uh, general counsel to the FBI. They both worked together uh, in the Justice Department for years. So if a mere mortal wanted to get mm. a meeting with the FBI to report some information, you know, you'd have to call up and get whatever agent happened to be on duty that day. Right. Most of us are not able to, like, pull out our cell phone and say, oh, let me call the general counsel of the FBI and get a meeting the next morning. Yeah. It, it, it's very interesting. And as you yep. say, um, they're going to have to prove to this jury that uh, he that he was able to separate the hats completely, that even though he was working on this campaign, which was just a couple months away, and that this information would clearly be detrimental if it got out and went into the press, which we all know was, you know, part of the engine that appears to have rolled over, uh, rolled out from this whole thing, um, and that this was that this was separate. So we'll see um, how they do. Andy, great piece on this today. Uh, as always, I think you've written about three of them in the past few days that I recommend everybody take a look at. Uh, good to see you, sir. As Thanks, always. Martha. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.